is so beautiful right now that I had to be outside and I decided to hop on and say hello. How are you? How are you feeling? I had a discussion an hour ago with a young man and we were talking about responsibility for what goes on in our life versus getting even. Holding on to grudges and finding a way to get even with people that have that have hurt us in the past. And that's a heavy duty topic and one worth exploring. I've come full circle in how I've responded now to the way I act to things and how I react. And having moved out of my safe house of my parents when I was 17 and going on my own, a lot of beeping stuff happened to me, with me. And so when I got in sticky situations with people, generally sticky situations happen with people, right? When people want to manipulate you or hurt you or take advantage. And sometimes that did happen to me, sometimes it didn't. Meaning sometimes I allowed things to go on that I wouldn't have approved of. Um, I allowed people to take advantage of me mentally, to manipulate me, and to do things I didn't want to do. But most of the time, I was able to solidly put my foot down and say nothing is worth me being disturbed and giving up who I am for for what my future, what they're promising in my future. And I know this sounds vague, so I'll give you an example. I was um, I was told by a leader in the entertainment industry out in California that if I were to stay with him for a day or a night or two, then I would be signed for seven years into a contract as an actress for Paramount and be big and famous. And there were a few movies that were offered that you probably know if you're my age. And in that moment, I had a choice. And there was very little hesitation to my answer, which was to call the car to bring me out of the lot of Paramount so that I could go back to my hotel that I was staying in. And I told a friend in the business that night what happened. And he said, you will never work in this town again, meaning Hollywood, because I had said no to such a powerful person in the movie industry. And I don't know whether that would have ended up correct or not. I didn't hang out in California long enough to find out I missed the East Coast and acting wasn't something I was good at anyway. And it wasn't something I wanted to become good at. So I came back to New York. And that's just one story of what could have been, what I chose to do at that time. And if I had chosen differently, how altered my life would have been. To come full circle on the conversation is the choices that we have. And we do the best that we can at the time. And we don't always know how that's going to affect our future. And I encourage anyone that struggles with identity and struggles with standing firm in who they are as far as what is important to them, what makes them happy, what makes them feel confident, what makes them feel complete, what makes them feel like they're living an exuberant life. And if anything goes against that, that hinges upon taking away your happiness, then take a pause and think about it before you act. We can always always take a pause and think before we act. So 
I think that's all. I'm going to wrap it up and I think I'm going to try and do some somersaults down this hill because I haven't done that in forever. And that's what I want to do. Peace out. I'll talk to you soon. There's a duck coming up here. Oh crap. Me and the duck.